I'm settling down, my text going to scream, you know better than that, I come around when you least expect me, I'm sitting at the bar when your class is empty, you thinking that the song's coming on and Hey guys, before the video starts, I just wanted to apologize. Um, I'm currently in like a new development, like a new housing development, and they're building houses and putting down concrete for houses and doing all kinds of stuff. So I tried to uh, block out the noise, but uh, you can definitely hear some concrete trucks backing up in this video. It's fucking, it pisses me off. I don't even know if you guys would notice it had I not said something but it drove me absolutely insane. So I tried to edit out as much as I could, but again, just apologizing. It's not the kind of quality I like or want, but it's in the video and I do apologize. Hopefully next time it does not happen. So partly through this video while I was recording, my Blue Yeti microphone just decided to take a crap. I will leave, uh, I will leave the part where it just starts glitching out in the video. Uh, just because I thought it was funny. just I sounded like a robot, basically. So the audio, I'm going to, uh, I went back over and the audio is going to be a little different because I used a headset to do my commentary instead of my Blue Yeti. Going to try and figure out what happened there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully next time we won't have as many technical difficulties what's going on clan fam back at it again with some more college hoops 2k8 with coach tubbs at texas state last episode recruiting went great playing actual basketball went horribly wrong i will say this average attendance is up to 1440 that's good let's go ahead and take a look at our lineup right now prosper flores Starting point guard, not sure why. Tamayo is going to be a beast. He's a 75 overall. Lodato, senior, 72 overall. And then we got a couple of freshmen at the four and the five. Baskowskis? Baskowskis? Baskowskis, 67 overall. We're going to go ahead and put him in the starting lineup. Welcome to the starting lineup, Nicola. Flores coming off the bench. Quincy Eady. Misha, not as good as I thought he was going to be, but hey, it is what it is, I guess. Let's take a look at a job security. Job security, meh, it's okay. It's okay. Hopefully, we do not get fired. That is that is my biggest fear right now, is we're going to do all this, and we're going to end up getting fired. Allen is getting a lot of interest from a lot of schools. That is not good for us. Okay, so we have five scholarships again. Now I know what I was saying, like, well, I think we're gonna go ahead and, and redshirt these freshmen. I don't think we can do that. We can't afford to do that right now. We gotta win games. We don't wanna get fired. I don't think it's possible to get fired after year two. I said that in episode one, but I don't wanna take any chances. So we're gonna play guys that I think are gonna win us ball games. And we can go ahead and go after some of these guys again, these world recruits, just to, to, to get some scholarships you know scholarship players on the team but right now you know what all i'm gonna focus on is abigail and allen those are the only two guys that i'm focused on right now cologne is only a sophomore so i don't really need to focus on him right now but these two guys right now these are the only guys that i'm really interested in what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and recruit these guys i'm not gonna show you guys that i'm just gonna go after these guys try to figure this all out and I'll show you guys if we have any big wins or any milestones. I'll show you guys that. But right now, I'm just trying to get this team back to, not back to, I'm trying to get this team in a position where we don't need to worry about getting fired. That's that's my main goal right now. I don't want to get fired from this team. I, I want this to work out. So that's what I'm going to try and do. And I will see you guys at the end of the season. And I'll show you as far as what these guys' interests are in our team after the season's over. All right, just a little update. As of right now, we are the only person, only person, we are the only program to offer Ryan Allen a scholarship. Hopefully, hopefully it stays that way. Hopefully. So we are at the early signing period. We're four and two. We have a winning record. We lost both games in this tournament. That's fine, whatever. Mark Agbay, I just realized, I I did not look at this at all. I just realized he's 
Five foot nine. God. And right now, for Ryan Allen, us and Penn State are the only two teams involved in his recruitment. That is music to my ears. Music to my ears. That's huge. And we lose to Southern Miss. All right. Let's see if Penn State offers this kid a scholarship. If they don't, then we're looking good. Okay. So, again, I will keep you guys updated on anything that happens, and I will see you on the other side of the season. Hey, we got coach a team to 10 wins. That's huge. 10, 10 whole wins? Wow. Season 2 is in the books. We went 12 and 15. Standings. We were mid. We were mid. 12 and 15. 6 and 10 in conference. Job security. Not looking too terrible. I mean, it is what it is. Recruiting. Duke also got the number 4 recruit. Cool. Recruiting, looking good. Penn State has has bowed out of the Ryan Allen sweepstakes. Not sure why, but I'm fine with that. Southland Conference Tournament, it doesn't look like we're in the tournament again. I mean, we're, we're not even making our own conference tournament. That's embarrassing. Two straight years? Two straight years of not making our own conference tournament? Give me a break, dude. USC wins the national championship. Good for them, I guess. We've got a couple of transfers. So that gives us a couple more scholarships to use. Could be a good thing. Could be a bad thing. Total record through two years for Coach Tubbs. 19 and 32. But job security, slowly, slowly on the uptick. We got a couple of attributes to use here. I'm gonna use them on scouting. A better scouting rating will reveal information about recruits faster and make your game preparation more effective. Yes, please. Not gonna take any of these job offers even if we were offered them. We are not. I think we're gonna stick with these assistant coaches. Transfers, Ole Miss. Do you want to reject this incoming transfer? 69 overall, nice. Um, you know what? We'll take him in. He's not, he's going to take up a scholarship. That's fine. I'm not really worried about it. We got to get rid of these scholarships anyways. We can't be having a crap ton of scholarships. I mean, we could take him over to next year, but I don't really want to do that. Why are these fuckers still pouring concrete over there? Fuck off. So here we go. I think we're going to get Alan. Let's see if there's anybody else that's interested in us. Interest. Okay. Gerard Schneider. Okay. I don't want to get any... I, 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 I cap it at three stars. I'm not going after one and two star guys. It ain't happening. I ain't that desperate. This is Texas State. No two stars here. It ain't happening. We'll put Courtney Eldridge on our target list because maybe next year he'll bump up to a four-star. I don't know. Damn, we got a lot of scholarships to offer. That is not good. We're going to be carrying them over into next season. Hopefully, we get some interest from guys. Ryan Allen signed with Texas State. That should be an accomplishment or a goal. There it is. Sign a four-star recruit. First thing on the list is complete. Good shit. Head back in here. Like I said, doesn't look like Mark's going to be signing with us. So we are going to have a lot of Scollies left over for next year. Yikes. We're about to sign this Gerard Schneider guy. Don't even know where he came from. He wasn't even on my radar, but there we go. We got him. Let's take a look at the other signings in the conference. I'm not seeing anybody better than Ryan Allen. That's for damn sure. Okay. Mark is slowly... He's slowly uh, getting more and more interested. Do we have enough time, though? We only got a week left, so I don't know if he's going to end up signing with us or not. It's going to be tough. It's going to be very, very tough. Let's see if it happens. There it is. That is... That is huge. We got two four-star recruits in this class. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
Yeah, he's only 5'9", but... I mean, Muggsy Bugs played in the NBA. Dude was like, what, 5'4"? So, any... If you got game, you got game, okay? There's a reason he's... Alright, so I have no idea what the hell just happened with my mic. Whatever. We're heading into the next season. We got five scholarships available. Let's take a look at our coach profile. Job security is looking A1 right now. We're looking good. Take a look at the roster. Um, Joseph Tamayo is up to a 77 overall. Ryan Allen's a 73 as a freshman. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're we're looking we're looking halfway decent right now. Let's take a look at recruiting here. Alright, Courtney Eldridge, probably gonna get him, looks like. Like I said, we got five scholarships available. I think this this class should fill out nicely. I don't wanna like I said, I don't wanna scrap for the bottom of the barrel like two star guys. I might well, all these guys are sophomores, so it's gonna be hard to get them. To sign this year because they can't we got to wait a little while so we're gonna go ahead and add these guys to our target list because hopefully maybe some of these guys will develop into five stars cologne also won't be able to sign till next year let's put nagunu on there we got junior college kids yeah i don't i don't think we're gonna i don't think we're gonna get this guy he's a five star but we could try. Here's our list of things that we still have to do. We still got a lot of things left. But there are some things that we did already that are kind of hard to do. Go an entire season without unhappy players. That's one of the hardest things to do in this game because everybody wants to play, obviously. So thankfully we got that one out of the way, but a lot of these down here, they're going to take a while to get done. So I'm not really too concerned about those right now. And I'm going to, like I said, usually just go through, recruit, and I'll show you guys who we get at the end of the year. And if there's any milestones that we complete, I will show you guys those as well. And we'll see what happens. Hopefully we fill this class up with a lot of uh, high quality players and next year make a run at the NCAA tournament. Or make an NCAA tournament run this year. That'd be great too. The early signing period is coming up this week. I'm thinking we're gonna get Eldridge. I'm pretty sure, but let's just see. Recruiting signing period has started. And there it is. Courtney Eldridge signed with Texas State. So we got a three-star recruit. Not bad. That's good for Texas State. We'll take that. He's the 265th ranked player in the country. Nobody else in the Southland Conference is recruiting like Coach Tubbs. Sheku Law does not look like he's coming here. That's fine. Junior college player, you know, I, I'm not too crazy worried about him. I mean, yeah, I'd like to get a five star, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, Sheku Law signed with someone else. I wasn't expecting to get him, obviously. Wanted to try and recruit him and maybe get him, but it didn't happen. It is what it is. What are, what are you, you going to do about it? Can't sit here and be sad about it. It's not our fault, these kids. You know, they don't care about us other... Co like, you know... He signed with Gonzaga. Okay, dude. You know what? Moving on. Moving on. Some of these other guys I feel like we got a shot at, though. Okay, so, again, just going to go ahead and recruit here, and uh, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. So, season three has come to a close. We finished the regular season at 16 and 13. I think we, okay, we lost three conference games. I was going to say, I thought we only lost two conference games. We might have lost more than that, I don't know. Oh, we lost six conference games. Okay, I was not paying attention to that at all. So we finished tied for second in the conference. That's not bad. I mean, here it looks like we're fifth, but, but we're not. We finished tied for second. We played Nickel State in the first round of the Southland Conference Tournament. And yes, we finally made a Southland Conference Tournament. We win game one against Nickel State. Now we play Southeast Louisiana. Um, and we lose. We lost by five. Close game. But you know what? 17 and 14. 17 and 14. Coach a team to a winning record for the first time. 
That's great. We're turning the corner here at Texas State. The Bobcats are finally becoming a winning program. Syracuse wins your national championship. Let's take a look at our uh, conference. Mark Agbe and Ryan Allen both made freshman all-conference. That is, that is a great sign for the future of this program. Southeastern Louisiana won conference champion. Blech. Coach, Texas A&M, Corpus Christi, whatever. If I'm not getting the award or one of my players is getting the award, I don't give a shit about it. So let's move on here. Did any of our guys make the first team? No. How about second team? Hey, Tamayo made second team. Nice. And then, obviously, the two freshmen. That's great. Allen, I can't believe he's a 74. He's going to be a stud. And our contract has been renewed for four years, so that is also huge. We don't got to worry about getting fired. All right, so we're losing one player, and right now we are 36 and 46. So we're only 10 games below 500. We got two attributes. Going to go ahead and throw those on scouting. We're up to a B in scouting. Nice. Um, I don't see really anything on here that I'm interested in. We're going to skip the carousel. And we're going to go ahead and keep our assistant coaches. Oh my goodness. A 77 overall and a 71 overall transfer. He scored 1.1 points a game. So he's just not getting any playing time at Pittsburgh. We'll take these guys. We're going to be... We got the number one transfer in the country coming to Texas State. Wow. Are you kidding? What... Hey, like I said, Coach Tubbs is building something special here at Texas State. He is building something special here at Texas State. This is unbelievable. I can't believe this. Thus making it unbelievable. So, let's see. Can we get anybody decent here in recruiting? I think we can. Okay, so I was scouring through the junior college kids, and I found this kid named Barry Weiss. Yeah, he's only 33% interested in us, but he is a four-star. And he doesn't have any scholarship offers right now. So maybe he'll end up coming here. That would be big time. Four-star uh, junior college sophomore, so we'll only get him for two years. But we could use a guy like him right now. So hopefully, let's go ahead and take Shea Law off the list. Screw you, dude. I don't care about you right now. I don't care about you at all. You know what? You're a nobody to me, Sheku Law. You're a nobody. If I was ever your coach, man, I, I would make you sit the bench. I don't care. I typed out all of these emails. I made all these phone calls. And you didn't sign with us? Screw you, dude. I hope I never see you again. Actually, you know what? I'm blocking your number. I don't even know. You don't exist to me anymore, bro. You don't exist to me anymore. Get out of my life. Like, these kids think we just drum up these emails like they're like they're nothing. I spent time writing these emails, man. These are real emails. Screw you. So right now, we are the only team on Barry Weiss's radar. Everybody else gave up on him. They said, you know what? We're only going to get you for two years. We're not even going to do this. But us at Texas State, we don't care. You could be here for one year. We wouldn't care, man. We want good, high-quality players here. And this is slowly ticking up. He's up to a 70 right now. We might have... Oh, man, that's going to be tough. We only have two weeks left to recruit this kid. So this is going to be... We're going to be cutting it close here. Uh, I don't think we're going to get him. He's up to an 87. He's going to have to... He's up to an 89 now. We're going to have to... Uh, this is going to be a miracle if we get this kid. Usually you have to have him at a 90 before the last week to have any chance, but let's see. Holy shit. That's... I can't believe that. Wow. All right, well, we're going to carry this scholarship over to next year and hopefully use it on another high-quality player a four-star and a three-star filling up this class and we got two huge transfers from Arizona State and Pittsburgh we got the best transfer in the transfer portal but let's go ahead 
Let's put North Carolina on here because I can't stand them. Only allowed to have three games per week. We'll throw Duke on there too. These are probably two guaranteed losses. We're going to leave Texas on our, uh, on our schedule. Screw it. You know what? Let's beat Texas. Let's turn this into a rivalry. If we could somehow beat Texas, that would be that would be a sign of, you know what? This program's turning around. December 4th, Texas, let's do it. All right, so we have two scholarships. That's fine. We'll, we'll find a way to get rid of those. Average attendance is up to 40.5%. That's pretty good. All right, Dave Cox, Nagunu. I think we can get these guys. Maybe not Nagunu. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Recruiting. Uh, I'm not really concerned with that right now. We'll uh, we'll get back to that later on. Let's go ahead and simulate this season. Take a look at our, our lineup. Tamayo's up to a 79, and he's only a junior. Eldridge starting as a freshman. Barry Weiss, 76. When those two transfers come in, like they have to sit out this next year, obviously. Ryan Allen, 75. But once they come in, this team's going to be really, really good. I mean, we're going to be really, really good. We we might not lose a freaking game. And I'm serious about that. If I schedule some cupcakes, we might not lose. So, yeah, these guys got to sit out for a year. That's fine. We'll get them next year. Next year is going to be a great year, I feel like. I think we're going to be very, very good. So, I'm not going to worry about recruiting right now. We'll figure something out by the end of the season. I might carry these scholarships over into next year, too. Because we got our team's going to be so good that it's not really going to matter if we bring anybody else in for next year. All right, not a good start. We're 0-5. We got absolutely torched by Duke and North Carolina. Our only hope for a quality win right now is against Texas. I think Texas is still ranked. So that's our only hope at a quality win. Good God, we're losing to everybody. What is happening? Oh, wow, we beat Alcorn State. Okay, here we go. Rivalry game. Let's beat them. They're number 18. Oh, we beat them. We just upset the number 18 team in the country in their own building. Okay, so maybe this thing is turning around. Yeah, we started off 0-5, and, and we lost 7 of our first 8. Wow, I I can't believe it. We beat Texas. The Texas State Bobcats beat the Texas Longhorns in their building. All right, so now we got Gonzaga. Gonzaga is also ranked, I'm pretty sure. They're not, but we beat them. They were 10-2 and, and we beat them at their place. This thing's too. Okay, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. Let's see what the record is. The season has wrapped up. We went 15-12. and 12. That's that's frustrating. But bright side is next year's team is going to be even better. Oh, we finished first in the conference. I didn't get a... You should get a milestone achievement for finishing first in the conference, though. Or winning the conference championship. Do, do we not technically win it? Because we lost to... Yeah, we lost to them twice, so we actually didn't win the conference. Damn. Okay, well, that's fine. I mean, tied for first, well, not necessarily tied for first place. By record, we finished in first, so that's fine. South Lane Conference Tournament, we're in the finals. If we beat Sam Houston State here, we're in the NCAA Tournament. Okay, this... This could get interesting. We might we might beat these guys. We did Oh my god, we did it. We're in the NCAA tournament. We won by 2 points. We're in the NCAA tournament. It's selection show. It's selection Sunday. Let's see where we're at, baby. We're probably going to be a 15 or a 16 seed. Hi and welcome to 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumble. What's going on, Greg? I can't believe it. We're in the NCAA tournament. 
Never would have expected this. All right, we're a 14 seed. Taking on the number 14 seed, the Texas State Bobcats, with 18 wins. Next up, they didn't say shit about us. So we are a 14 seed. We're going to be playing Xavier in the NCAA tournament. Wow, I, I I cannot believe we made the tournament, especially with kind of the mediocre year we had. We went 18 and 12. We went 15 and 12 in the regular season. So, you know what? Not terrible. I'll take it. NCAA tournament. Here we come. I'm excited. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I'm not going to play this game because that doesn't really show how good of a team this is. I just want to actually simulate it and see how good of a team I built, not necessarily how good I am at actually playing the game. So I'm going to simulate this in the next episode, and I hope you guys are there for it, and I will see you on another time. Peace. You fucker!